Hello, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. And beside me here, we have one of our technicians, Carrie. Carrie is doing an amazing kind of project of before and after. And we're doing a before and after of microgreens. Live blood cell is amazing because it enables us to take a look at what's happening in the red blood cells, the plasma, and of course, uh, what's happening in the whole terrain of the blood. We have found by looking at our own clients an amazing benefit from microgreens. And this is why Carrie and I wanted to do this video to give you all a snapshot of the incredible changes that we do see throughout a month time of using microgreens. We have gone hand in hand with an amazing company called Everyday Micros. And here's their website right at the bottom here. They have an amazing amount of different variation of microgreens that they do grow. And this is where we're gonna be using a mixture of them. Now let's talk about microgreens. Microgreens deliver big flavor with concentrated nutrients than other full grown counterparts. So by having these in micro uh, green aspect, this gives us so much more nutrients than if you just had the radish or just had the actual one counterpart. It is beneficial to eat every day as it, we do find it helps with liver toxins. It helps create much thicker cell membranes and it'll help reduce antioxidants. These are all things that we can see in the live blood cell, the liver toxins, the cell membranes, and also what's happening in regards to free radicals and if we're alkalining the system. This is what our microgreens look like. So this company has provided us with Swiss chard and Carrie here is going to eat them every single day. We also have wasabi. This is another one um, that's extremely effective. I really like this one. This is a sandwich micro mix, which is great because you could put it on your bagel with cream cheese. You can put it in your actual sandwich. You can even sprinkle it on top of our salads. Um, so I really like this one being that there's a mixture in it. And the last one is fava, which will also can be eaten kind of as a salad or as well sprinkled on top of certain things. So it is a commitment to try and get your microgreens in, and I can't forget that you can put it in smoothies and things like that. Some of the healthiest microgreens are Swiss chard, radish, and a mixture of it. And that's why it's so important that we have this in one of our sandwich mixes. Arugula is another really good one. Broccoli sprouts. Carrie will be having broccoli sprouts next week um, as she will be getting a new shipment every week to be trying different microgreens. So Carrie, why are you excited to try these microgreens? What do you want to benefit from this? I'm excited to see the difference in my live blood, um, but I'm excited to see how I'm going to benefit health wise. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you may notice you'll find your energy a little better. Mm -hmm. I don't know overall what we're gonna see. So what Carrie's gonna do in two weeks time and then a month time is give you guys a little snapshot at what her live blood looks like. I have no idea in the two week time if we're actually going to see any changes, but I do know in a month time from previous clients of mine, um, seeing the change of the cell structure and the liver toxins. So we're hoping we see a great change. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to give you a snapshot of what Carrie looks like prior to the greens. So she's gonna get on my microscope here and pull up the blood. There's Carrie here, she's preparing her sample. I'm gonna bring it up on the microscope. Amazing. So now she's gonna bring it up on the microscope. So we have some good flow here, but it's really congested and really sticky. And we want the cell membranes to be a little bit thicker. It's really congested in here. So hopefully these microgreens can help open this up a little bit. 
And how do we want this to look? We want these to look um, less clumpy. We don't want as much clumpiness, so individual cells. We want these cells to be a little bit thicker, but separated. So this is our snapshot before starting the microgreens. We can see the linkage. We can see the cells aren't as thick. We want these much more open and not linked on top. Adding another element to this uh, microgreens, which Carrie and I are really thinking this may alkaline the system. A lot of us are acidic. Being acidic creates inflammation, uh, creates joint pain, but not only that, we want to be alkaline to fight disease and cancer because an alkaline body is optimal health. So what we're actually going to do um, and test Carrie is, she's going to test this now and then we're also going to test it at the one month point. And we're going to see how acidic or not acidic uh, Carrie's urine is. From this point, we can really get parameters on how it's adding nutrients to the body and helping alkaline that body. What we're gonna do is we're going to dip a pH strip in there. So we wanna know what it looks like on this level, um, and we don't want Carrie to be more on the acidic. We want her more on the blue side. We do sell these tests, these pH kits, so you can certainly uh, contact us or DM us and I can certainly ship these to you. They're not an expensive thing, but they're amazing at finding out where you are. So what Carrie's gonna do is she's gonna test this about the same time during the day, uh, a month from now. So here we go, let's dip this and see what this looks like. Carrie is actually not that bad. She's sitting at a 6.5, okay? And I'm gonna kind of bring that up to the screen. That's actually really good, Carrie, right? because we are almost alkaline. So we're really gonna see that change and you really should push over to the 7.5 to eight. So you don't have too far to go from here. Okay. We are happy Carrie isn't showing major acidity and having it go this kind of awful green color. We're happy she's going this nice blue color. Hi there, Shannon and Carrie again. So now we're four weeks into the microgreen, uh, eating it every day, putting it on different things. What did you find was, Carrie, the, the best way to get the microgreens in? I literally put them on everything. So yep. everything I was eating, unless it was obviously sweet, but yep. smoothies, salads, eggs. Last night I threw them into some salad. Oh, good. Um, there was one that was chive yep. based, so it was yep. on mashed potatoes, yep. so literally everything. So did you find any were more tasty than the other or spicier yes. or things yeah. like that? Yes. So they did have different flavors. Yes. Yes. Amazing. So that's something really interesting that if you are gonna get into microgreens, I've done a lot of research on the fact that you need a variety. So as you know from the first portion of this video, Carrie and I had a variety of the microgreens that we do get from a local company here. Although microgreens are fairly easy to grow yourself, um, but we chose this company because of the vast amount of different kinds that we can get. Um, and of course this company is amazing and also gives to a lot of the chefs and restaurants around here. So the other thing I'm curious about Carrie is, did you find any benefits like digestively, anything? Did you notice any changes? So I think I noticed by week three changes with my skin. I yep. felt like my skin looked brighter. I had a few people comment on my okay, skin. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Any digestion changes at all? I'm pretty regular okay, anyway, that's good. Yep. so I just felt like that just helped. Skin could change because the cellular health mm -hmm. is so much more fortified. So let's see what this looks like. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to prick Carrie's finger and see if we're seeing any changes in regards to the cellular structure, perhaps liver toxins. Um, overall, I don't. we don't know what we're gonna see. We haven't looked at this before. Um, so this is all new to us. It's going to be all new in general when we bring it up on screen. So here we are, we're gonna take Carrie's sample. And these are cover slips we put on top of the sample. We're just gonna get one more just to make sure that we have enough. We're hoping to see it moving. We're hoping to see the cell structures much thicker. So it looks like right off the bat, the cells are nice and circular, moving well. 
um, and overall how I want them to look. Um, I'd like to be seeing this moving a little bit more, which could mean that Carrie may need to do the microgreens a little bit longer to really support that liver, gallbladder, digestion aspect, and alkalinity as well. So let's move around here. So here we are as we move throughout the sample. Again, we're not seeing these cells move as well as we want to see but I am seeing a big difference in the actual thickness of the cell. So this is the outside of the cell, the membrane, and that membrane looks quite thick and looks like what we want to see it looking like. I would suggest Carrie to maybe put a little bit of B12 into her diet, um, and that's done with cheeses and meats, but you can always supplement in B12 as well. Again, really nice cell structure showing here. Great. Now, as you notice, this background is very black and clean. We see all sorts of things in this background. So again, I'm very happy with how that looks on what we call the terrain side of things. Cells are all super nice, round, we're seeing a little bit of movement here. What we're finding with the microgreens is that it's definitely thickening up the cells. You need to be using it longer than I think the four weeks um, to have massive liver improvements. Um, what we're going to do one last thing is we're going to test Carrie's urine to see if it's alkalined her. Because at the beginning of this video, we did test Carrie's urine to see what that looks like because microgreens with the amount of the greens that you're getting and amount of the chlorophyll you're getting from that, this is where it could alkaline that urine. So I'm very curious if we've alkalined that. So now we're going to test Carrie's urine. Now, right off the bat, by looking at her urine and the color, um, it looks extremely hydrated, excellent. So that is a fantastic thing for Carrie. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test that pH strip. Okay, then we're gonna see, wow, this is fascinating. We are gonna see where she does sit in alkalinity and she's all the way up to an eight. The microgreens have made a massive change in alkalinity. So what this means is, is that it's much harder for disease to grow in the body. The body is working at optimal um, with being alkaline and it's an incredible thing. So this really is the massive benefit that we're seeing here is in a four week period, this has pushed Carrie to alkaline where we tested the urine at the very beginning and we know she wasn't alkaline. So this is fantastic. And again, as you see, this goes blue, which does indicate she's alkaline. One of the reasons I thought about doing this video is one of my main clients um, has been using microgreens for well over a year and I've seen him all the time. And by being able to see him all the time, uh, he's seen me for over 10 years. So I have a really good baseline of what he looked like prior to the microgreens. So I've got him on screen here uh, of an image of where we started about a decade ago. Certainly we've done cleanup and changes, um, but since the microgreens and he's been on it for so long, we've seen a huge improvement. Here's what his blood looked like before. We are seeing a lot more parasites in this, but then after he's did the microgreens for a year, this is what his cells look like now. So this is a huge improvement. The cells look incredible. They look so thick and the immune looks great. So this is what I mean by you need to be a bit more consistent with this to really get the impact. But overall, in a four week period, we're seeing some excellent changes. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope this was enlightening for you to see the benefits of what microgreens can do. Stay tuned for more videos from us. Subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, like my videos. Then I know I'm doing the right type of things that you guys like to see.